Hey guys, today is February 8th, 2022, so I'm going to do a little bit of an update video, starting with the Cubs since it's already in front of me. I got the mower deck painted up, first coat of, on the mower deck. I could have find Cub Cadet Yellow somewhere, IH Yellow or something, whatever the hell they live, have it listed as, so. I like to paint all that stuff for the mower deck. That goes underneath here. Um, no, I can paint the whole tractor. I have enough. I have, I'm just going to do regular white. It, I can't not find IH white or Cub Cadet white anywhere. So I came across one can and I wish I would have got a tractor supply of Cub Cadet yellow. I think is what it was or IH yellow. I don't remember what it was, but, um, but I did get it running. It kind of does run. So we'll deal with that. My fancy ass fucking choke cable with a pair of vice grip because some idiot me cut the damn choke cable too short with the actual pull-up cable so vice grips work good for that so i ordered a card for this it should be here like 10 months from now probably like my cab corner for my truck has been so there's the mower deck first coat it looks like shit but it's a mower deck it ain't gonna next winter i'll work on it more because Next year, or next month, it'll be more maintenance than anything. It'll be changing oil and everything. Just March and April and February even is just a, a pain in the rear and getting ready for spring. So, and on top of that, I have this to finish, which is almost there. It's pretty damn near close. So, well, I guess I must talk about the truck now since it's here. I still got to get the, still waiting on a cab corner. I don't know where the hell it's, it's been like two months now, so. I'm ho really hoping between this month, this week and next week to get all the rockers and cab corners done. If I can get the damn cab corner for this side, so. But, I want, I was, the only other thing I have left to do is put the training linkage in, but I have to go back off the other truck and get the part it needs on the frame. And straighten the steering out and the damn thing will drive. We got the headlights working, kind of, sort of, the headlights work, so. Um, there's just no way to, I don't know how the heck they go in, because they don't hold, the bezel don't hold in, since they're, like, the aftermarket LED lights, so. But the side marker lights work. I don't know about the turn signals. I don't think I try. I think they do work, but. So, that subject is on that. That's pretty much about all it needs in order to run, so. Um, I'm working on trying to redo all the primer on everything because it's got all dirty and nasty from just touching it and greasy and none of that you can see the blue coming through on the other primer so it just needs done the whole truck is going to get done except like the roof and the back bottom half of the cab over here so like probably about below the fuck biden uh thing but where that sticker is a little bit below it's probably going to get double checked some of these runs we're just going to sand off like this little corner here, I'm going to top, this whole corner you're going to kind of see, kind of, you're going to see it. So, everything out here you're going to see from down there up. But the roof I'm not too concerned about, so. Pretty much just around the window is the main thing, so. Um, and I still got to get two back tires, because that tire there where the shot back is, is just about ready to blow the hell out. Which is going to be, hopefully that side spins, because it's going to be the burnout tire then. So, the day this thing is actually done, we're going to go do a shit ton of burnouts. Hopefully it gets caught on YouTube, that'll be the fun part. Um, I'm sure it will be, if not it'll be on Snapchat or TikTok, so. But, um, anyhow, that's it for pretty much an update because there really ain't too much going on now but i still have one manure spreading video this video and that's it i'm out of videos unless someone wants to do something but speaking of while well, i'm on this subject on the cub you guys can actually buy this exact same tire in that rim for like 50 some dollars a tractor supply it's like 50 it's supposed to have 16 on it but it's like 15 inch but it's in the just inference but they they work so but I think I'm going to have to get some longer bolts, though, because I was using it. I literally just pulled the cart out of here, and the damn tire fell off the other day. It's kind of funny, though, but 
I just jacked it up, threw the tire back on, and tightened it up, and drove it in here and parked it, so. But I am going to paint the uh, tub, though. I'm going to try to at least do the hood this week, maybe next week. Do all the white I can at one time. Because this shit, I know the yellow is going to take forever to dry, because that's what my brother used on his tractor, was Cub Cadet. So, this year's turned into a Cub Cadet, but close enough. It's So, I still got to get parts for, I still need to get a PTO clutch, and I have one, I just gotta go get it, and I have a snow plow, I just gotta go get it too, so, but I still need to, I oh know it'll be like two months before I get the carburetor, so, we're gonna have to run it however it wants to run, either idle or wide open, whatever it wants to run at, I gotta get a hinge too, it's about ready to blow the hell apart, yeah, it's just, the hood's not supposed to go that far. I believe the hood's only supposed to go to, like, right here. But it's, like, about ready just to fall off. I just need to go get a hinge before it does fall the fuck off. But. I got a new air. I got a new fuel line ran to it with a filter. Well, I changed the oil in it, which you guys did. If you guys didn't see that video, you can check it out. It's still already, it's almost black already. And I didn't even put that many hours on it. I probably put like two hours on it already, just from using it to move shit around and just clean up a little bit I'll be using it for, so. I still would have fixed my damn headlight wire, because only one headlight works. Well, this thing will be a lot nicer to plow snow with, because it's hydraulic, you can hurry up and raise the plow and back away, I'm like that, you have to sit there and hold it and pull it. That's whenever hydraulics are nice. The only thing is, though, you can't angle the plow because you have to get off and manually angle it. But same as that, but oh well. It works. So I'm hoping all these tire chains withstand the concrete, though, because if you guys don't know, concrete and asphalt are really hard on tire chains. So also, I forgot to mention, I put a toolbox on this. Got a hitch pin in here, a screwdriver to adjust the carburetor, some. Go go juice to get it started. Sometimes you have to need a little bit of go go juice. So that's it for that. Other than I gotta work on the mower deck more. I did get a belt for it. I believe it's this size. I'm not sure. It might be 76 inch, but I don't remember. So that's what the number is, I think. I think it's 75 though. Because this seems to be a little bit. It might be 77 though, but. It might be 77 or 78. I can't remember how I had it on there. But it's one of them numbers. It's either smaller or bigger. I can't remember. So. I also got to get two front tires for the John Deere. Because I blew them out. So that'll be done with that. I got to get a battery for it yet too. Because I rubbed the battery for the John Deere and put it in this. So that's pretty much all for update videos on junk pretty much. So. Um. That's it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one.